In today's video, I'm talking all about repairing your white balance. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and in today's video, we're talking all about white balance and more importantly, how to repair your white balance in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, when you're shooting video, you have to make sure you're shooting in the correct white balance, and this is because light is measured in different color balances. So when you're shooting outdoors, for example, the color of daylight is 5,500 Kelvins, and if you're shooting inside in a tungsten light, your white balance needs to be set to 3,200. But if you're outside and you set your white balance to 3200, then your footage is going to look really blue and really unusable. But luckily we can drop this into Premiere and we can fix this with one easy trick. So let's jump into Premiere right now. So we're gonna drop our footage into Premiere Pro and we'll go to the effects window and we'll search for fast color corrector. This should load up a big color wheel and all you want to do is pull the color wheel over towards the orange side of the footage. And now already this looks a lot better, but we're not quite done there yet. So we'll go back into effects and we'll search for levels. Drag levels onto your footage and make sure this is on top of the fast color corrector. Make sure this is on top, not below. In levels, we're just gonna pull the white input level up to around 230 to make those highlights pop. We'll pull down the gamut a touch just to add a little bit more contrast into the image. And as you can see, if I toggle this on and off, we've just simply added some more contrast. Now we're almost done, but we're not quite there. We're just gonna add one more effect. So in the effects tab, we're gonna go ahead and search for three-way color corrector. And we'll drag this below fast color corrector. Now in three-way color corrector, you should see these three different color wheels. We have our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. The shadows are the dark parts of the image. So we've got this hedge on the left of the frame. The highlights are the brighter parts, so in this example, that would be the sky and the snow. And then the midtones are the areas in between the highlights and the shadows. So if I pull the shadows towards the blues or the reds, you can see the bush is becoming really colored. So in order to warm this footage back up and make this look like daylight footage, I'm just gonna pull these shadows over towards the red side of the color wheel. So in effect, I'm just going to warm the shadows up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to contrast this by adding some blues into the highlights. So we'll pull this over towards the blue part of the color wheel. And this basically means our shadows are going to look warm and our highlights will look cold. And then because we're trying to warm this footage up just a touch, I'm going to pull the midtones over towards the orange side of the color wheel. And if I toggle this on and off, you can see how much of a difference these three simple effects have made to our footage. We started with really ugly footage that was not shot in the correct white balance and because of that it was ugly and blue. And because of these three settings we've got really beautiful footage that looks like it was shot in 5500 kelvins. Now when you're filming your footage it's really important to shoot in the correct white balance because if you don't you're going to have to correct your footage every time in the edit. And if you don't know what white balance is and how it affects your footage then go ahead and watch the video in the description below because it's super important that you understand all about white balance. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching that video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more content from this channel. See you next time.